please, go ahead. <laughs> I'm recording! <laughs> oh, oh. Wow. Hello, everyone. <laughs> All right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Careful. <laughs> My goodness. Sorry. <laughs> so, we are on the road again. No, the road. That's the song, right? I'm sure it's a real song, but we all know it as the donkey song. From Shrek. Yeah, true. We are going to our friend's wedding. We're actually in her wedding party. Today is the wedding rehearsal and the wedding... It's not the wedding dinner. Rehearsal dinner. <laughs> she is trying to get me! We're heading over there quite early so that we can beat traffic and we're gonna go to a wine tasting. You know, in reality, we just wanted wine. She's having her wedding really close to Temecula, which is kind of like wine country for San Diego. <laughs> yeah. Ish, yeah. So, I bought a Groupon. <laughs> it's very good value for your money. I mean, I'm just saying, if you haven't tried Groupon, you should. It's great. We're gonna chill. And then go to the rehearsal. I don't know how much of it I'm going to vlog the actual like rehearsal dinner and stuff because I'm in the party, so I have to like listen to what they say or they tell me to stand and blah blah blah. But come along and taste wine with us because it's going to be delicious. Oh, um, that's a great question. Uh, the paper's uh, in there. You had a Cabernet. I did have a Cabernet. It had a black cherry and vanilla notes. Did you find the notes? I found the black cherry note. Not so much vanilla, to be honest. But it's good. I like yours better. Uh, Liz had a Merlot. My Cabernet was lighter than the Merlot. Um, but I liked it. I enjoyed it. It was tangy. A little tangy. Now, gonna have a glass of Sarah. <laughs> Sarah? It's not Sarah. It's Sarah. Um, and then Liz had. Oh, this has a prettier background when I'm talking about this. Now I'm trying a Syrah, not Sarah. Um, it's called. Uh, it's full bodied with aromas and flavors of black pepper, blackberry spice, and fruit notes of vanilla, chocolate, and espresso. Honestly, I got it because of the espresso, because of the coffee had it. supposed to try it like that. <laughs> I saw it in a movie once. <laughs> oh, that's really good actually. And then this is the Moscato. Has floral aromas, sweet flavors of peach, apricot, and melon. Oh yeah, this is really, really sweet. Very, very sweet. Very fruity. I like it. I like this better. <laughs> You get to try like a little bit of each wine. You don't have to commit to anything. Just like life, don't commit to anything. Try a little bit of everything. Actually, that's that's true. You should. Um, but now I want cheese and meat. What is it? Cutlery? Is that what it's called? Cutlery? Cutlery? You know the. <laughs> What's it called? 
hydrant say uh, chakuri? Yes! <laughs> I'm pretty sure cutlery is like uh, spoons and forks. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> what an embarrassment. No, I was like grabbing it and I grabbed the leg part like an idiot. Are you recording me? <laughs> what did you get? Belbino. Belvino. Ah, Belvino bubbly. 50%. Wow, I cannot pronounce any of these words. Ruby red with purple highlights shading toward garnet in color. Great. Red fruit, jam, and flowers. Hand picked and imported from Italy. And I got the Dolce, 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 semi sweet red. Aromas of black cherry, plum, dark chocolate, vanilla, and spice. Let's try. Ooh, it smells really good. That's really good. Oh wow. Theirs is good too. You know what's interesting about wine though? Is that, because I mean, okay, so the little I know about wine comes from grapes. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's like you can get the same bottle every year of one wine, it'll probably taste different every year because of like rain and dry weather. And, you know, like because the way the grapes grow and like the soil and then like the water and you know all the factors that go into making the wine <laughs> okay okay you know what no that was only three ounces that's nothing um, I'm just saying it's dumb <laughs> I'm just saying that like all these factors go into making wine so you can buy the same bottle of wine every year and it'll taste slightly different because of droughts and rainfall and soil and a bunch of other factors, you know? You'll be excited to know. Are you ready? Yours comes with a piece of chocolate. What? Yeah. So, what the guy told me, you have to take a bite of the chocolate and then take a sip of this. And look how freaking thick this one is too. Look at it. See how thick that is? And look how much deeper like red, this is like almost brown. So yours is this one. That is the Vintner's Select Prima. It's a fortified dessert wine. Uh, mine is the butterfly effect. This is a dry blend of Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot, and Cab France. And it says it's simply complex. Its aromas, deep color, tantalize your sense of flavors of <laughs> toasted oak, spices, vanilla, and mocha. And it was also aged in French oak. So eat it, and then I think you're supposed to sip it as you have the chocolate in your mouth. Mmm, so fancy. How was that? Is it good? Okay, leave me some. <laughs> it's definitely a lot lighter. Honestly, I don't really like it. It's kind of. Maybe it's because I had the other one first and the sweetness is overpowering this one. And I should have rinsed my mouth, but it doesn't really taste like anything to me. What a change of locations. There's a party bus that happened and yeah. Stacy! I'm gonna take my picture! Actually, I'm like that too. Take a picture! <laughs> so this round, Liz got the 2014 Zinfandel. It is spicy pepper, raspberry, cherry, and plum flavors. This wine is rich, big, and elegant. And I got the Petite Syrah. It's different from Syrah. That's what it says. Um, it's an intense wine noted for its dense color and texture, chewy tannins. Tannins? T-A-N-N-I-N-S? -N okay, great. I'm smart. Both flavors of blackberry, pepper, and espresso. Oak aging rounds out this wine's appealing and long finish. That, that's what it said. Hold on. I think I like the Syrah better than the Petite. <laughs> the Petite doesn't measure up for the real. Oh, hopefully no wine was spilled. I wish I had water to cleanse the palate. <laughs> I just can't smell anything. I feel like I get the espresso from here, but not so much the fruit. So the bartender told us to kind of like, if we're gonna stick to the reds, to go down the line, like I, I took a picture of it. I'll link it down below. But it goes from like the most mild to the most intense. We should have stuck to that 
<laughs> How are you doing? You doing good? I'm great. No, <laughs> I just, you know what? Okay, I think my problem is I have so many thoughts in my head and it's, I just can't work them out. Okay, so <clears throat> the bartender told us to go from the most like mild to the most intense flavor and we didn't do that. We were just like, eh, let's just tinker around here and there going back and forth and we shouldn't have done that. We should have listened to him. Um, the dessert one with the chocolate, it was the sweetest one and now I feel like um, everything after that just tastes the same. So if you go to wine tasting and you do stick to one, make sure you go from the most mild to the most bold flavors. Well, you love and you learn, you know? <laughs> I really like this place. I thought the customer service was really good. The bartenders were really attentive, which I find very important as someone that works in customer service, you know. I like that. The place itself is very cute. There's like all these barrels everywhere. There's lots of places to sit. There's like this out outside like back patio. There's like a place out there and there's um, like a little section where you can look out to the other vineyards as well. So the location's really nice. It's, it's quiet. Um, maybe it's only quiet because it's a Thursday at like two o'clock, but <laughs> maybe that's why, but you know what? It's great, works for me. I give it a 10 out of 10. Do stick to the list though, because if you start off really hardcore, you're not gonna be able to taste the more mild, more delicate flavors and notes that each of the wine has. So I, I recommend this place. I do recommend coming to Temecula if it is um, far for you. If you're anywhere between like Orange County, LA, San Diego, Temecula is uh, really, it's close by. California. It's the Tuscany of California. <laughs> if you're in the LA area, maybe Ojai is closer to you. It depends on what part of LA you live in. Thank you so much for joining me. Come check out this winery, any winery that's close by, and... <laughs>